What's going on guys, Dubs here back with another RuneScape guide. Today we're going to be checking out Zulra again, but this time we're going to be doing a Bofa only run. So let's jump right into it. Alright, for my equipment I'll be bringing along Full Crystal, a Necklace of Anguish, Avis Assembler, Barrows Gloves, Devout Boots, a Bow Affair Denon, as well as a Ring of Suffering. For my inventory, I'll also be bringing along a Divine Range Potion, an Anti-Venom Plus, four Prayer Potions, some Anglers, and some Mana Rays. I'll also be bringing a Teleport to the boss and a Teleport out. Zolra is located in the Poisonous Wastes inside the Elven area. You'll need to have completed the quest Roving Elves to fight Zolra. I'll be using the Zolandra Teleport, which teleports you right inside the village, and it's a short, short travel right down the dock into the boss room. You can also use Fairy Ring Code BJS and an Agility Shortcut Level 76 to hop over and just run a little bit south over into the uh, Poisonous Wastes Village. Once inside the Poisonous Waste Village, go ahead and run east onto the little fairy boat. But before you end up entering the boss room, go ahead and eat an angler fish and take a sip of your Divine Range Potion. Once on the island, go ahead and turn on Rigor and immediately run to the northeastern tile and start damaging Zulra as you run there. Once at the tile, go ahead and make sure that your Zulra Helper plugin is enabled and ready on your right hand side of your screen. He will dip under the water and activate his first phase, which will be a melee phase. I'll select the melee phase as the first phase of the Zulra fight over on the plugin. Then he'll dip under the water and off to select a second phase. We'll be doing a magic phase, which was guaranteed. The next one has a 50-50 chance. It'll either be a ranged phase or a poison phase. So he moved up top, it will be a ranged phase. We're going to go ahead and activate protect from range and start damaging Zulra. Got hit with a little bit of venom damage there, so we're going to go ahead and eat. And just keep damaging him as we go. Our next phase will be a melee phase, so it's a good time to start eating and get your health back up, maintaining as much damage as possible during the acid spitting phase and magic phases. So now we're on a melee phase, I can go ahead and turn off protect from range, you don't really need any protection prayers on, I'm going to leave on rigor and just keep damaging if possible. Next up we have a magic phase, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on protect from magic, move to the located tile to end up dodging the venom clouds, and just keep hitting Zulra with everything I have. Alright, we're going to backpedal a little bit, and we have a acid spitting phase. Go ahead and turn off our protect prayers and just keep damaging him. After this we'll have a magic phase, as you can see right here. We can stay in the same location, your location where you'll need to stand is located by these X's. Go ahead and turn on Protect for Magic, eat a little bit, and let's just keep hitting him. That's all there really is to it, guys. It is that easy with the Bofa. Zulra is super weak to uh, its ranged attacks. You don't even need to bring your magic gear here. It just shreds right through him, especially with a high ranged level and having Rigor active. You can make a pretty decent amount of cash here in no time. That is all I have for my Bofa only Zulra guide. Thank you all for watching. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to join the New School Discord, our link to it is down below. We'd love to hang out with you guys and see you in there. If you want to hang out with us live, we stream every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday on Twitch as well as YouTube. And if you have any other tips or tricks I might have missed, I'd love to know down in the comments, as would everybody else. It would be much appreciated. And if you've made it this far, guys, I appreciate it again. And as always, game on, my friends, and I'll see you next time.